This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got a cracking question here for you today. It is an A-level question. It comes from the website madassmaths.com. Check it out, link in the description. And yeah, I like this question because uh, one, it's non-calculator, so good to uh, brush up on those arithmetic skills. Um, you could do this question if you're just starting year 12, if you are just going into year 13, or even if you're just starting year 11. Um, uh, yeah, so let's give it a go. So it says show by suitable al algebraic method that um, this um, series here uh, has a value. Okay, now I've hidden the value um, to create some sort of suspense. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so what we're going to use, the algebraic method, the fundamental factorising algebraic identity that everyone should know, super helpful, and that is that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. This is called the difference of two squares, and like I say, it is fundamental uh, for algebra. Okay, so why is that useful here? Well, as you can see, if I bracket this, these two um, and just focus in on them, that is a difference of two squares because the difference, uh, there's a subtraction sign in between them and both of them are square numbers. Um, okay, so we can put brackets around each of these and, and we can um, uh, consider them as uh, pairs. Okay, so let's look at the first one. So it's always a good idea to evaluate um, some of the series um, in order to get, understand what the pattern is. So if I'm going to be doing 60 squared minus 59 squared, and I'm using difference of two squares, I'm going to do 60 minus 59 multiplied by 60 plus 59. Um, and this is going to give us, um, I should do it down here, uh, that's going to be one, that bracket, and then we're going to be multiplying by 60 plus 59, which is 119. So we get 119 is our first uh, value of this, uh, this this pair here. Okay, right, let's check what the next one is going to be, uh, see what the pattern is. So 58 squared minus 57 squared is going to be 58 minus 57 times by 58 plus 57, which is going to give us 1 multiplied by 115, uh, which is 115. Okay, great. Um, and then it's always good just to do one more, just to double check that this pattern is gonna hold, um, which I'm sure it will do. But if I do this, so 56 minus 55, 56 plus 55, uh, that's gonna give us one multiplied by 111, which is 111. Okay, so we have an arithmetic series because to get from there to there that is a common difference um, of subtracting four and that carries on on to the next one as well perfect so we've got arithmetic series uh, the first term uh, is 119 the common difference is minus four but how many terms are there now this is something which, to be honest, I find quite tricky to figure this out, particularly in the exam situations, it can be quite stressful. Um, it should be easy because you're just counting, but um, it can be quite stressful sometimes. Okay, so how are we gonna figure this out? Well, we're going, if we look at the lead number, we've got 60, we've got 58, and it goes all the way down to 22. So obviously that's a gap of two um, between each of them. Um, and if we were to do um, 60 minus 22, that would give us uh, 38. And then if we were to divide that by two, that would give us 19. So you might think there are 19 terms, but using that method doesn't quite work. You have to add one because we are including 60 and 22. So in fact, there are 20 terms. For example, if you were trying to count up the number of terms um, uh, here, you would look at the first term and the last term. You wouldn't just do 6 minus 4 equals 2. Um, you'd have to add 1 to it. There are three terms here because you're including 6 and 4. Okay. Um, so we've got 20 terms. All right, so we should be good. Because uh, the sum 
up to the nth term is n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. So the summation formula, which we should all know, though it is in your formula booklet um, for GCSE and for A level, in fact. Right, so we are going to the sum. We're doing 20 terms. Um, so n is 20. Um, the first term is um, 119. Uh, and then the next term is 115, which means the common difference is minus 4. And here we've got this n minus 1, so 20 minus 1 is 19. And then we're times in that by minus 4. Okay, so we um, need to carry on without using a calculator. 20 over 2 is 10. Uh, 2 times 19 is 238. Uh, 19 times minus 4 is minus 76. So we've got 10 multiplied by, in here, this will be uh, 162. So overall it is 1620. Bosh. Let's put that in a box. Give it a tick. Well, actually, let's check to see if it's right. Yes, it is right. Perfect. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you do um, enjoy uh, solving maths questions and learning more about maths, then um, let me talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. Today's sponsor is Brilliant. And Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of visual interactive lessons in maths, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Now, what I love about Brilliant is just how interactive the site is, and I've had great feedback from my students that have used it, that when learning these concepts, you can really play with them, and it gives you a real fundamental understanding of the subjects that we love so much. You can get started today for free, and if you want to sign up for a premium subscription, then there's 20% off if you use the link in the description or scan this QR code on screen now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.